What's good, y'all? So, just want to talk randomly, you know, over some shit that I heard. What's the deal with Kanye and Jay-Z? I'm hearing different shit. Is Kanye really leaving um, the Rock Nation? He ain't gonna be managed by them no more? Is the great duo separating now? If so, that's, that's pretty fucking sad. Like, we all like Kanye and Jay-Z. I think they make incredible music together. But this is, like, the second time we heard a rumor like this that they haven't been really getting along. It is what it is. But that shit kind of sucked, too, where it's like, fuck, man. These two artists are, like, legendary. Especially Hove. And, you know, you know, you got Kanye. Sometimes he can be, you know, temperamental. And he says shit and does shit, and it's like, what the fuck was that? I don't understand that. It's like the Taylor Swift shit all over again. He's very impulsive, you know what I mean? But other than that, who the fuck would be driving a truck, bro? Hold on. <sighs> My bad. But yeah, so um, would he be leaving and shit, so... I think that's pretty fucking weird if he is. I don't think Jay really gives a fuck. I don't know. But I hear that he don't fuck with Tidal, but then he just tweet out or send a link talking about Tidal. The little Jay-Z little streaming shit. And so now he wants to do uh, work with Apple, the competition, to release his next album. Which is cool, but how does that work? Really, I don't really give a shit about streaming albums or, you know, buying them off iTunes and all that shit. Long if it's a physical copy in the stores, then I'm good money. You did everything leaks these days, so if he's looking for a way to not have it leak, which I don't understand how it's not going to leak, but who knows, you know what I'm saying? You can't beat him, join him. So at the end of the day, it is what it is. But I hear this nigga new album title is called Swish. Okay, what is that a basketball reference? Um, are you talking about Swishers? Swish for short? Like, what the fuck is that? Like, I don't understand that. I'm like, yeah, right. Kanye is way more innovative than that. You trying to tell me this nigga... Will call this album Swish. I mean, if other title was very different, I can't and I can't remember the name of that shit. You know, the original title for the album. So that's that. I didn't even think that was even dope. Like that was even like weird. Like man, you go from Yeezus to that. What the fuck is that? Like I don't know. It kind of need to sit down with the his original fucking team. You know what I mean? And strategize on shit. Cause it's like. Nigga, I don't care what music is in hip-hop now. The, the fucking South or New York or West Coast, whatever it is, Kanye always can come in hip-hop, do what he do best, and it's going to go out of here. So I just think he needs to focus on him and stop trying to... It's cool that, you know, you go grab this and work on that and you get this over here and you work on that. But at the end of the day, it's like, man, that's not really you. Like, we don't want to hear that type of shit from Kanye West. Like, All Day was a cool record. It, but that's all. It's a cool record. It's not legendary. It's not no moment in time. You know, it's no Jesus walks. It's no all falls down. It's no can't tell me nothing. It's no love locked down. No heartless. You know what I'm saying? It ain't none of that. So at the end of the day, it's like, it ain't no all of the lights. Nothing. You know what I mean? No black skin head. None of that shit. So I was just like, that's cool, you making fun music, I guess, but nigga, that ain't no shit that I think should be on an album. In my personal opinion, I don't want that type of shit on a Kanye West album. Like, come on. Like, you see what Lupe did when he was releasing all them songs and shit like that, and, and it was dope when he did the record with, you know what I mean, Chris Brown and all these little records that we thought would be on Tetsuo and Youth, but they wasn't. I thought that was a great marketing scheme, you know what I mean? Whereas, like, he doing all these songs to where it's his, I guess, way of doing turn-up music or whatever you want to call it, but none of that shit was on the fucking album, only maybe Choppers, but other than that, he knew how to work the system to where it's like, boom, you know what I mean, so I think Kanye can do the all days and all the mother records, but when it comes to your body of work, nigga, we need Kanye West, Dr. West, you feel what I'm saying, so 
it is what it is. But he's managing himself, which I don't think he's doing a good job at. If you look at the last award show performance, that was horrible. Because this nigga didn't go to sound check. They went to see motherfucking Mad Max, like the remake of that shit. So I was like, nigga, if you would have went to sound check, we wouldn't have got a performance like that. So now we understand why they bleep this nigga out like that because they didn't know what song he was going to do you feel i mean it wasn't warranted that he did that but at the same time it's just like wow nigga really it's the hella iverson shit all over again practice we talking about practice you know what i mean like who the fuck ditches sound check when you care about your performance we know how kanye is about his performances and his visuals and his music and shit why would you skip it's rumored that he skipped to go watch Mad Max with, uh, I forget who the fuck it was. But if that's the case, bro, you take that L, that's on you, nigga. Like, I would have never skipped sound check to go watch a fucking movie. Hell no, because how they gonna know what I'm gonna perform? So if you would have went to sound check and you perform, they would have seen the song you're performing don't have that much cussing in it, but some, 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 all day, nigga. You're like, you know what I mean? But that's that, whatever. So who cares? But, um, other than that, I think he got booed somewhere or some type of performance he was at. Like, he been taking a lot of L's lately for him to be Kanye West. Like, we've never seen this nigga in the public eye and so much bullshit ever. It's like, damn, nigga, chill the fuck out. You know what I mean? Go back to when you did the Taylor Swift shit and you didn't fuck with no type of media shit, nigga. Because you wilding out, you know what I mean? Paparazzi and lawsuits and shit. It's like, bro chill you know i even hear him and kim is he wants to divorce her allegedly you know he wants to divorce her and shit which i was like huh i said that then i say that wiz and amber and him and kim it won't last like yeah so once wiz broke up they boom tiger black china boom so it's just like hmm i wonder who was right up uh, me yeah that's what i thought so if that's true yeah i call it like i see it other than that, um, what else about Kanye? It's not that I'm bashing him. I like Kanye as an artist. I just feel like he needs to get back focused. Do y'all think he's actually a good um, CEO for his label, Good Music? You know, it's like he got a lot of artists. I hope Good Music don't turn to the new cash money. You dig? It's like, all right, why are you holding Pusha T back? Is it you or is it Def Jam? You know, you got Denny Sign, Travis Scott, 2 Chains affiliated with them. Tiana Taylor album came out, nobody noticed. Big Sean album came out, nobody talking about it no more. So it's just like, uh, I feel like he could do a lot more for his artists, but I get it, your artists gotta create that buzz, but I feel you still can do more for them, you know what I mean? But that's just me, you know? I think the first version of good music was doper than the new one, you know what I mean? That's just my personal opinion, you dig? But at the end of the day, who knows? It's all sad, it's all fucked up. I guess I could say, you know, <laughs> in a way, we won't be getting that Watch the Throne 2 album now, will we? Because him and Hov ain't really rock with each other no more. Oh, man, that shit crazy. You know, and I was like, I knew that that rumor bullshit was not never going to happen when you had the producer talking about, yeah, yeah, I'm working on it with Kanye and Jay now. Ooh. But a lot of this shit, don't get it fucked up. The media can just put out shit for us to like gas off this shit, and then they come out surprised. It's like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? Like, look at the whole... um. The death of a dynasty movie, the whole Jay Z and Dame Dash shit, and you seen at the end of the movie where it's like this, but then at the end they played the fans and we all bought the music and they were still cool. So I look at a lot of that shit like that, you know what I mean? Like people don't, you know, just pop up somewhere and paparazzi's there. People call the paparazzi to come with it, yeah. You know what I mean? So you gotta like even stories and shit, you know, a lot of these publications that be having these so-called stories, these fucking people be having a team send that shit over there to, you know what I mean? Because when you out here cold as an artist, as Charlamagne would say, you know, you cold in these streets, you got to do shit for people just to talk about you. Remember, in that world, which is Hollywood and all that fame shit, any, you know what I mean, talk is good talk. No matter what kind of press it is, good or bad, at least they're talking about you. Remember like in that little Kim song? Cat Williams said at the end, bitch, nobody talk about you because you ain't shit to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Like, so a lot of this shit I be looking at like, ah, I don't believe it. You know what I mean? It's like, it sounds like bullshit. Especially if the artists don't come out and say it, you know what I mean? 
in a tweet or an Instagram post or even if they got a verse on somebody's song, they don't talk about it. I really don't fucking believe it. It's good to just put it out there in the air, though, to let other motherfuckers, like, think it's whatever. But you got to learn to say allegedly. You know, it's a rumor or two. I like that line. But who knows, man? Kanye? I don't know, man. I don't know. I, like, I was fucking with him with the Yeezy and shit. I got people didn't like that. They bashed me for it. It's crazy that people love the album now. You know what I'm saying? But when it dropped, they didn't understand it. You did, I ain't get it now. Oh, I love that album. Same shit with the Lupe shit. Nobody liked it when it dropped. Now, all of a sudden, everybody loves the Lupe album. You people be late on shit. Well, I don't understand. That shit weird, though, but... I'm gonna call it now. I think Kanye, whenever his album dropped, you know, him, Lil Wayne, T.I., Hov, whenever he do another project, and Drake, I think they albums, the next go around, whenever they drop their next shit, it's gonna surprise a lot of us as fans, you know what I mean? That's just what I think. You know, I could be wrong, but I'm hardly ever wrong, but I just think it's gonna be something on there that's gonna be like, on each of their projects to where it's like, wow. Thank you. Like, the fans gonna thank the artists that we've been waiting for, the certain music inspiration that we wanted from them, you know what I mean? And that new Jeezy mixtape was, mm, you know what I'm saying? It's all right, but that'll come in another video. So what do y'all feel about Kanye moves? If this Rock Nation shit is true, do y'all think that it'll be a good move for him to manage himself? Um, I don't know. What y'all think about his album that, if it's called Swish, what the fuck? What would be a good title? You know, I still feel Kanye should give us that Good job album, even though I get why he didn't do it, but I still feel like, nigga, the fans deserve that album. We deserve that Kanye West, that era. I know years done passed since then because it was supposed to go to college dropout, late registration, graduation, good-ass job. I get it, but I feel like you still can use that title now. You probably don't have to do all like the little gimmick and shit that came with the college dropout and late registration, graduation and shit with the bear and shit, but I feel like you still can give us you know, that title because the work is speak for itself and it's like, oh shit, this is why it's called Good Job. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, nigga, good music. The work on there is dope. That's his job. You dig the metaphorical sense of it. That's just me being me. But what y'all think? You know what I mean? Other than that, I'm tired of y'all looking and laughing or looking and not watching or saying dumb comments. So that's just my Kanye West discussion. Hope y'all enjoyed it. And yeah, my channel's still born. Thanks to the subscribers that show support. I'm out of here, man. See y'all tomorrow for the uh, bread release. I'll probably try to do a little footage, but if it's crazy, I ain't gonna be able to do it. You did. I want motherfuckers like, what are you doing? Like, oh, it's for my channel. Oh, fuck out of here, nigga. Other than that, shout out to everybody that fuck with me. Shout out to the day ones. I'm gone.